the peril of terrorism has prevailed in the country since time immemorial, while efforts have been made to root out the causes of our worst nightmare, it has lasted through the millennia. Suffix to say, the government has not taken the safest approach to succor the country but had been dealing with the symptoms of terrorism such as kidnapping and banditry attacks. However, to the effect, the government has discovered that high-profile individuals and organizations are acting as the backbone of the insurgency. This was disclosed by the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation Abubakar Malamu San. Some times ago, there were captain conviction that some Nigerians who were allegedly involved in terrorism financing in the United Arab Emirates were arrested and convicted. This gave rise to wider and far-reaching investigation in Nigeria. This set of sponsors range from institutions to businessmen and higher profile individuals across the country. While an investigation is still ongoing, these people are certainly culpable. The details and the number of these evil perpetrators were not provided yet. We hope these people are brought to justice and Nigeria will gain great again. The time is now for us to end terrorism in this country. We hope the federal government have you know made a big discovery that we end insecurity in this country because it is really getting out of hands we have been you know prevailing this country since time immemorial terrorism have been prevailing over this country and you know our government have not made you know effort to root out these causes because this thing has caused us the worst s nightmare ever so we are urging that the governor and the president the federal government together they should you know take a safest approach so that they'll be able to succor the country instead of dealing with the symptoms of terrorism they should you know go deep into the real cause of terrorism and you knows Curb the issue instead of you know, going to such uh, symptoms of terrorism like kidnapping and banditry attacks. What do you make of what has been said? What do you think about this? Well, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about what has been said. Guest said, Whatever that is called federal government in Nigeria is a terrorist organization. We have heard what guest has said. This is so powerful. She said, whatever is called the federal government in Nigeria is a terrorist organization. Could this be true? That any gathering that is called the federal government is a terrorist organization? What do you have to say about that statement? Well, that's his whole reaction about this. Let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is. Samuel Osehenye said, this is what they would have done for years. Because once you get the source of their finance and sponsors, the trouble is over. Let's pray they are sincere in handling it. We have heard what Samuel Osehenye has said that these things should have been done for years. Because if you can get the source of their finance and sponsors, then these people will be powerless, then the trouble will be over. But when you take a good close look at this, situations you know that there is something be wedding must be responsible as to why the government is not willing to do that Ajango said who are those perpetrators apart from Islamic cabals of this APC current regime since they are rehabilitating and paying ransom to Boko Haram members to employ them into security agencies they refuse to prescribe Buhari and Fulani headers as a terrorist group but are busy fighting and killing freedom fighters of IPOP who are they fooling 
Hmm. We have heard what Ajango has said about this old news that those who are perpetrating Nigerians are the Islamic calabars. They are the Islamic calabars of this APC current regime. What do you make of that? Could that be true? Or is it true that they are rehabilitating and paying ransom to Boko Haram members to employ them into security agencies? What do you have to say about what Ajango has said about this? He said they have refused to you know, proscribe Fulani headers as a terrorist group but are busy fighting and killing freedom fighters of the IPOP. What do you make of this? What do you make of what has been said by Ajango? Well, let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is on this. GK Aze said, Federal government is just deceiving themselves. What of Pantami, who they know is a terrorist associate with what have they done about it? They know that Pantami is a terrorist associate and they have done nothing about it. The case has been closed. The federal government is not known as federal government again. It has become the Fulani government and they are the number one terrorist in Nigeria. We have heard what Chiki Eze has said about this. What do you think about what he has said? That the federal government are no longer the federal government we used to know. They have now become the Fulani government and they are the number one terrorist in Nigeria. Someone once said that he will make the country of governable for a sitting president and after Boko Haram issues, we Nigerians decided to give him a chance and today the country has become ungovernable in his hands. Right now, I had it someone that threatened him as he did to the former head. Alarm is ringing on the person's head now, but thank God he was the person that threatened the former and not the former to him. I really want everyone who has meant well for Nigeria to ponder on this and value this God. We would like you to share your own comment with us. We would like you to share your own point of view and reaction to what has been said. This government should please act fast on this issue of insecurity. A lot of souls have lost their lives. Some families are in pain. As I am talking now, some people are, you know, weeping over their loved ones that have lost their life. If the profile of these people that sponsors these bandits can be traced, then the secret intelligence should please go after them and the court should prosecute them. What do you think about what has been said so far? We would like to know your own thoughts and reaction about what has been said and what has been happening in Nigeria on the issue of terrorism. We need to wake up from our slumbers now and, you know, put an end to terrorism. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.